So as an operator, you've got several choices when it comes to adding a mobile application to your suite of services. You can either go through a third-party provider such as Mobenga or Probability, or you can just build one yourself. What are the benefits and, and minuses of, of doing either of those? Well, depending on the development resources that the company has, obviously with Bodog, we've got huge development resources and, um, and getting bigger by the day. But um, some of the companies won't have those sort of the, the skill sets available to be able to uh, develop these applications. Some will. There, you know, you've mentioned a few companies such as Mobenga, uh, Probability, and there's there's some really great companies out there with great products. But it depends on whether you actually want. Um, I'll obviously be a little bit um, directed here, but if you want the vanilla type application, or if you want something which is really going to suit your customer base, if you want something which is going to be suited to your brand, to your customer base, then there's no better way than building it yourself if you have the resources available. I think um, your earlier question about the technology and about the introduction of HTML5 really opens it up that it is that much easier to build web apps for the mobile and to be able to distribute them. The biggest problem we always had in mobile applications um, from, the, from the early years was actually distributing the app, how we get the app onto the phone. It used to be that you would have to make someone text uh, betting or text Bodog to a certain number and then the app would be delivered that way. But now it's as simple as pointing a web browser to a URL. So um, things have got much, much easier these days. Either they can uh come and visit uh, the likes of Mobenga or uh, any one of our competitors going with a third-party supplier specialist in mobilizing gaming uh, or they can try to do it themselves of course which uh, is not to be recommended. So why wouldn't you recommend doing it yourself? Because mobile is a very 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 complex environment. Uh, mobile is not only a mobile phone but you have a lot of different OS's, uh, a lot of different devices with different characteristics. It can be screen size, key sets, OS versions. Um, uh, really, it's, it's like a jungle out there, so to speak. And, uh, and again, that's, that's why the likes of Mabenga exist, because we have mastered that. Um, and it, it's very, very easy to fail, because uh, adapting something from a website, for example, into a very, very small screen, which actually a mobile is, it's a big challenge. You really need to uh, elevate your key selling points and uh, uh, make, make the, the path from logging in to placing a bet extremely easy and uh, logical. And the different handsets, different OSs, different versions, etc. all have different uh, qualities and place different obstacles. So, uh, no, uh, I would say it's a very bad idea to try to do it yourself. Unless, of course, you want to invest in, you know, a mobile division of 20 developers that will do nothing but mobile for you. Then I guess you can try. So, AJ, you are working on a mobile application for Bodog right now. Can, certainly am. Can you tell me a bit about what is special about that application and, and exactly what's going into it? Yeah, sure. Well, we've only uh, been working on it since um, since we launched our new R&D department. So uh, it's our first project for Bodog R&D and uh, hopefully it's going to be a very successful one. We've basically looked at the, at the mobile traffic which Bodog receives and we took a very simplistic approach that 85% of our traffic from the mobile devices comes from three major device types and that is the I iPhone, the Androids and the iPads. Um, iPhone certainly, or sorry, the Android phone certainly picking up even over the last weeks. It's really getting a big part of the market share. So we've developed a very typical, in typical Bodog fashion, very easy to use, very easy to get straight to the numbers, uh, integration with uh, our news content and with our major sport types. So um, I think our key to it is the distribution. We really uh, we've partnered with Censure Touch, uh, and this is probably going to be the first HTML5 and CSS3 device 
out in the marketplace. And we're certainly looking at the, at the application for both our regular European markets, but also our Asian market, which is growing by the day. So we're, we're pretty excited, and um, I've actually got one here if you want a demo of it, Becky. Let's have a demo. <laughs> sure. So Rebecca, what we've got here is the obviously typical Bodog branding. Um, news content on the front page and then direct links to our five major sports so for us it's football basketball baseball and hockey and then the other sports primarily soccer uh, the tennis golf cricket right through to our non-sporting events such as Big Brother and the uh, and the other TV shows um, what we've really tried to do is have ease of use here so if we click on football we get the option of the NFL lines, the college lines, the future betting, and then straight from there, we've got the betting odds here for Thursday's um, NFL games going through to Fridays, and the whole week's schedule of games ready for there to bet. Now, if you've got a Bodog account, you can go straight through, take the Patriots at minus seven, minus 120, choose your, choose your bet size, and 120 to win 100, as simple as adding it to the bet slip and placing the bet, and that's it. The bet's been placed. You're ready to go to the pub or continue watching the game. Okay, well, can you actually show me an example of, let's take Paddy Power. Absolutely. Of the application you've built for that. Sure. Walk me through it. So, here we go. And this is actually the browser-based version, not the, uh, the downloadable application, since the downloadable application is restricted to Ireland and England only. Uh, you have the entire bed offering in a very, very slick and nice way of this. Unfortunately, I only have one euro left on my account, <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can do something with that euro. We'll choose uh, football and what's most popular right now playing. Premier League, of course. Chelsea. Not really a Chelsea fan, but we'll see. <laughs> 4 to 11 to win. It says I have one bet in my selection in a shopping cart style. And I'll place, I'll be very bold and place 50 euro cent. Confirm. And that's it. You're ready. Hopefully I'll win. Hopefully you'll win. <laughs> Regardless if you decide to build a mobile application in-house or if you decide to build a mobile application through a third-party provider such as Mobanga, one thing is clear. Gambling enthusiasts want a pocket-sized and mobile gaming product. This is Becky Legero. You're watching Calvinair.com.